There's three things to do with wind that'll have an impact on the waves that we see at the beach. Now, most of our waves that we see coming towards the beach come from big weather events happening way out at sea. So if you can think about when you see the news and they talk about big storms coming, big weather events, those are all happening for the most part out at sea. They're getting started out there and the waves that we get at the beach will be determined by how strong those winds are blowing out there, how long they've been blowing for, and over what distance or fetch of the ocean they've been blowing over. So if it's been blowing for a long time and it's really strong and it's been blowing over a big area, we can expect some pretty big waves at the beach. And that's when you get those uh, beach days when it's rough and windy and uh, pretty crazy out there. So that's normally created by uh, big weather events out at sea uh, causing those waves. The other types of waves we can get at our beaches are caused by localised wind. So not big weather events out at sea, but more local wind. So just a few kilometres off the coast, and that could be at our beaches, in the harbours or in lakes. And that's when just localised wind is blowing over the surface of the water. It's pushing the water up and uh, it's moving it towards the, uh, the beach. So with our localised winds, as long as the wind's blowing, then we're going to get some waves at our beaches. As soon as the wind dies down, then the swell is going to go as well and the waves are going to die down. So localised wind is created locally and while it's blowing we're going to get some waves at our beaches and then as soon as the wind disappears the waves are going to die down.